What's up guys, it's me Jeremy. I know a lot of you guys who don't play support a lot tend to find the role not that fun to play and especially quite often difficult to carry on, and I think it's safe to say that the role of support is perceived as the role that is the most difficult to carry on. But in my experience, that's only partially true, and it's definitely easier to carry on support than it might appear on paper. Let's get started. So there are quite a few contributing factors as to why it feels harder to carry a game on a support. But first, it's important to understand what I mean exactly when I say that. When you play your games as a support, it more often feels like there is nothing you can do, and that you have a lot less impact on the game compared to if you were playing another role. And whether or not it actually is that way, rather than just feeling that way, is arguable and I should touch over it quite a bit throughout the video. Anyways, let's jump into the reasons why it feels harder to carry on support. The first being that you can't really make plays by yourself. You don't have the damage to 1v1 any opponents on the enemy team really, unless you can make some crazy play involving a turret or find them at low HP, the ability for you to make plays by yourself is almost zero, whereas on other roles it is reasonably high. And so because of this, the mid game tends to be quite boring for you, and you can't really do much other than ward and make calls while your team pushes and prepares to group. And so when your teammates are misplaying, there isn't too much you can do, since you're never really going to be able to kill someone by yourself, or a split push, or solo down an objective, or anything of the sort, and so that can make you feel a bit helpless, as well as it makes it almost impossible for you to set up plays when your team as a whole is fairly behind, and you end up relying a lot on the enemy team throwing the game when put into that position. In addition, when it comes to carrying games, it's hard to argue that it isn't at least a tiny bit reliant on your AD carry. Since you share the laning phase with them for such a long time, it can be hard to make plays happen if your AD carry isn't having a good game or gets put on tilt, which you can usually influence but sometimes might be out of your control, and those games can be quite frustrating and very annoying to handle, since it ends up feeling like you have to babysit and micromanage your teammate while also having to convince them to not AFK or to try to make them play better without really being mean or condescending, both of which are fairly hard to do. And lastly, a lot of the power for carrying on a support comes from things that do not feel satisfying. Items that a support build do not really cause a strong feeling of increase in power. Like when a mid laner buys a new AP item, they feel the strength of the item in their abilities and the purchase makes you feel better because you see yourself doing more damage now with your abilities. But when it comes to support, the utility and passives that your items bring to the table can be hard to quantify and don't really show a noticeable impact most of the time, despite being extremely valuable. As well, the power of controlling vision correctly through warding and sweeping your opponent's wards is hard to quantify and usually does not make you feel rewarded, even if you do a great job at it and completely outplay your opponents in that category. Once again, it's something that is super important and really powerful, but it doesn't make you feel good about yourself, since it's so hard to see the direct impact that those plays have on the game most of the time. And so those were the main reasons that I came up with. Before I jump into them further, just a reminder to tap that like button if you enjoy this kind of analysis and want to see more. Now, it's my personal belief, and feel free to disagree with me, that how hard it is to carry on support isn't actually that much less than any other role, but since it happens in a different way and in different circumstances that are vastly different to that of any other role, it just simply ends up rather than actually being a lot harder to carry, at least in the general sense. There's definitely some games that are harder to carry on a support, as well as some games that might be a whole lot easier to carry on support, but across the broad spectrum, I'd say that it's pretty damn close, and arguably just about even when it comes to the carry potential a support has compared to other roles. And there's many reasons why. First off, while it is true that you can't really make plays by yourself, that doesn't mean you can't make plays at all, and in fact supports are some of the best champions in the entire game at creating picks, provided they have a reasonable follow up from their team. But it's not too hard to roam through areas with your teammates and stick with them throughout the mid game. Really it just means that you have to work more closely with some of your teammates compared to some of the other roles. 
and so although you carrying a game might be more dependent on the laning phase than other roles, supports can snowball a lane really easily as well as the power that you have to gank mid is quite underappreciated and goes a long way if you can make use of it. Roaming mid is a great way to help your team out and can be done throughout all phases of the game as well. A lot of mid laners really don't expect ganks from the supports, while support champions tend to be quite good at ganking a lane. And in addition, your carry potential is a bit less reliant on your AD carry than you might think due to the roaming power that you have, and you have to consider how the other roles in the game are going to rely on you heavily to ward effectively, control vision, and protect your carries in team fights, all of which are actually supposed to be a team effort but usually get completely dumped on the support, and so if you can outplay the enemy support in those categories, you will have a huge impact, especially when it comes to controlling vision, which, let's be honest, is crazy important to a team. And in teamfights, the utility support brings is really impactful and you can do a great job of initiating fights or really shutting down an enemy trying to dive in. And so, what do you think? Is it harder to carry on support than it is on the other roles? I personally would say no, but just barely, and I will definitely admit that the fact that it feels harder to carry on a support can be quite frustrating at times. It is a little bit situational as well, as a lot of times it's most certainly harder to carry, while others it might be easier. So let me know what you think in the comments below. And that just about wraps it up. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to tap that like button to help support me, as well as you could subscribe for some more awesome content in the future. And definitely check out some of my other videos on the screen too. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.